Hi, this is The Business Guy. Today we're going to talk about legal structures for asset protection. And in this video, we'll be discussing the various legal tools that individuals can use to protect their assets from lawsuits. And we'll be discussing these structures in order from the weakest to the strongest, so you can make an informed decision about which one is best for you. I'm the CEO of Asset Protection Planners and Lawyers Limited. We're the nation's leading asset protection consulting firm. We have attorneys on staff, and our company was established in 1906. And before we start, I want to make it clear this video is not legal advice is for informational purposes only, you should consult a qualified attorney for any legal advice specific to your situation. The attorneys and consultants at our company may be able to help. And if you appreciate this information, please click the like button below so YouTube promotes this video. And if you haven't already, you can click subscribe so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. So we'll start out with some weak asset protection strategies. And number seven is the sole proprietorship. This is the default business structure for individuals who start businesses, and it provides no protection against lawsuits. The owner is personally liable for any debts or legal claims against the business, and their personal assets can be seized to pay off any judgments against the business. Number six is the general partnership. This is also a very weak structure. In the general partnership, two or more individuals own and operate the business, and each partner is personally liable for the debts and legal claims against the partnership. This means that each partner's personal assets can be seized to pay off judgments against against the partnership itself, even if the other partner created the liability. And number five is the land trust. The land trust gives great privacy of ownership. When you have real estate such as your home, rental property, and so on, a land trust helps keep your name out of the public records. So when a contingency fee lawyer comes sniffing around for assets, they see little to nothing in your name. So it makes it much less likely for somebody to sue you. However, when someone does sue you, a land trust does not protect you. It's a privacy device and not an asset protection device. So for rental property, Property, we use the land trust for privacy of ownership, and then we stick an LLC in as the land trust beneficiary for legal protection. For a personal residence, we don't include an LLC in order to retain the homeownership tax benefits. Now keep in mind, each legal tool has its place. Just because a golf cart isn't as fast as a race car doesn't mean you should never use a golf cart. Out on the golf course, it comes in pretty handy. So use land trusts for privacy, but just know their limitations and when and how you should use them. Number four is the corporation. The fourth asset protection structure is the corporation. A corporation is a legal entity that is separate from its owners and it can provide strong legal protection when somebody sues the business. Now, shareholders are generally not liable for the debts or legal claims against the corporation. So the corporation makes it difficult for somebody to seize their personal assets to pay off a judgment against the corporation. However, when a lawsuit comes on the other side of the brick wall of the corporation, and somebody sues you personally. Say you're driving home from a restaurant on Friday night and you rear end somebody in their car and you get sued for more than your insurance, that lawsuit can take the company away from you and all of its assets, a weakness that we are able to overcome with the next legal tool, number three, the limited liability company or LLC. An even stronger asset protection structure is the limited liability company. An LLC is a popular business structure that combines the legal liability protection of a corporation and the asset protection of a limited partnership. While an LLC provides some protection against lawsuits, it's not foolproof. The owner of an LLC or corporation for that matter can still be personally liable for any debts for legal claims against the LLC if the owner engages in fraudulent or illegal behavior. So operate a clean, honest business and the LLC can work very well to protect you from a business lawsuit. Now on top of that, when somebody sues you personally, an LLC can protect you from losing your membership interest in the LLC. So the LLC can protect you from losing the LLC itself and everything inside of the LLC. And this is very different from a corporation where a personal lawsuit can result in somebody seizing your ownership in the corporation. However, a personal lawsuit cannot easily result in you losing your LLC and the assets inside of the LLC. In most states, you need two or more members in order to enjoy that type of protection. But in some states, such as Wyoming, Nevada, Delaware, South Dakota, and Alaska, you have asset protection for single member or one owner LLCs. For US-based LLCs, we like the Wyoming LLC the best, and even better yet, number two, the Nevis 
LLC. Now, according to our research, the Nevis LLC offers the strongest asset protection of any LLC worldwide. In fact, we've set up more Nevis LLCs than anybody in the world. Why? Number one, the laws in Nevis previously stated that a creditor must post a bond of $100,000 before they can file a legal document against your interest in the LLC. And as of 2019, the high court set this bond for any amount, including well over $100,000. Number two, the statute of limitations period for fraudulent transfer is only two years. For example, let's say you transfer assets into a Nevis LLC today. We're not saying the assets won't be protected until after two years. The company protects the assets right away. What we're saying, rather, is that after two years, the Nevis courts will refuse to even hear challenges of asset transfers into the LLC. Number three, the creditor needs to prove his or her case beyond a reasonable doubt that the LLC member conveyed assets assets into the LLC to hinder that particular creditor. And number four, asset protection is available to single member LLCs as well as multi-member Nevis LLCs. Number five, charging orders against a member's interest in a Nevis LLC fall away after three years and are not renewable. In the US, a charging order against your LLC can last for 20 to 30 years depending on the state. And finally, that brings us to number one, the strongest asset protection tool. The strongest asset protection structure is the Asset Protection Trust. The trust slash trustee holds your assets, but you still have the ability to use them. However, when somebody sues you, the trust protects those assets because they are not technically owned by you directly. Therefore, they cannot seize them to pay off the judgments against you. Asset protection trusts are often set up in states or countries with favorable asset protection laws. A trustee company typically manages the trust. Now, the trustee is not the trust settler or beneficiary. Now, there are two categories of asset protection trusts we'll talk about here the domestic trust and the offshore trust. For a U.S. person, a domestic trust is one set up in one of the states that offer asset protection trust laws. The problem is the trustee and its assets are under the control of the U.S. courts. Therefore, we've seen results-oriented judges cast the law aside and penetrate domestic trusts repeatedly. And if it's a matter of a domestic trustee over which a U.S. judge has control, giving up his own assets or yours, we both both know whose assets he's going to give up. That's why the offshore trust is so much more powerful. We set up most of our offshore trusts in the Cook Islands south of Hawaii or in Nevis down in the Caribbean. In the Cook Islands, for example, our law firm slash trustee company is not under the jurisdiction of your local courts. So U.S. court orders, for example, fall on deaf ears. In fact, we've set up more Cook Island trusts than anybody in the world. We have never seen a client lose money from a judgment when assets are held in a proper international account with in one of our Cook Islands trusts. In conclusion, there are a variety of legal structures available for asset protection, and the level of protection they offer can vary significantly. Sole proprietorships and general partnerships provide no protection against lawsuits, while corporations and limited liability companies offer some fairly good protection. The Nevis LLC is the strongest LLC of all based on our research. Asset protection trusts provide the strongest asset protection, and the offshore asset protection trust in the Cook Islands and the Nevis are the most powerful of all. Ultimately, the best structure for you will depend on your specific situation and the level of protection you require. Here's some final thoughts. It is important to note that while these legal structures can provide asset protection, we recommend you speak with a qualified asset protection attorney or consultant before setting up any legal structure for asset protection. We have attorneys and consultants on staff who you can speak with by calling us or filling out a free consultation form at assetprotectionplanners.com. Thank you for watching this video on legal structures for asset protection. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. We'll see you next time. This is The Business Guy.